This is like a postseason wagon room. When you talk about yeah. chemistry every year, I know you get tired of it sometimes if you're not an Astros fan, but the fact that this group coalesces, bring in new faces, it all seems to work well together. Well, they brought in Dusty Baker, and, and you, all you have to say is that this is a true dynasty. I mean, the, these guys, they went through those scandals. They went through a bunch of different things, but this is literally one of the best organizations in baseball, and the fact that they've gone back to the ALCS six straight times, I mean, that's those are ridiculous numbers, right. and the fact that they've done it. And Dusty's been one of those guys that just, he's been the calming influence, just a perfect guy to bring into that situation after that scandal and, and to settle things down and to bring things together. He's the one manager I wish I had played for. Uh, he's the one guy I know you, you played for, but uh, uh, he was just the perfect guy for the situation. Well, and you just heard it right there. Chemistry can take you places that analytics and other stuff can't. And Dusty believes that. This is a guy who's been in the game as long and as well respected because he's a relationship guy. Mm -hmm. And we all know that chemistry and whatever we're doing in life matters. Mm -hmm. It matters with your significant other relationship. It matters with your relationship with your children. In anything you do in life, chemistry matters. I'm tired of hearing it doesn't matter in a clubhouse because when I got a chance to climb the mountain in 13 and 14, those were the tightest knit group, and we had chemistry. This X factor that couldn't be quantified to hear Dusty say that it's been a huge part of their success in Houston. We all know analytics are, are, are good, mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm not saying that they're bad, but also putting the right people in the room, developing relationships. You can't have anybody listen to you if they don't trust you and you have a relationship with them first and foremost. So I think that was huge to hear Dusty Baker talk about team chemistry. And you don't have to have the same personalities. There's no question that there's a, like, you don't want to have 25 or 26 yeah, diver diverse. But when you get into that clubhouse and you would get out on those lines, you're all pulling on the same side of the rope, baby. You're trying to win a baseball game. And then when you have that kind of situation, it can be blissful. I mean, it really can if, be. And if that you really makes care it about fun. the other guys on the field, yep. I, I said it once like this. Caring about the other guys and looking at those guys in big moments, it pulled out a fight in me that I couldn't willingly summon by myself out there. When I was out there with the Dustin Pedroyas and the David Rosses and Buster Posey's and Bum Gardner's and Hunter Pence's, looking in their eyes and the chemistry, the relationship that we had made me dig deeper than I even thought I could dig. And that's what team. Yeah, think is. about the 93 team in Philadelphia. Oh. Dykstra, Dalton, who was the greatest leader I've ever been around. I mean, in Cavilia, you had Schilling, Kruk. Yeah. You had last year's Atlanta of... Braves team wearing the, the pearls and having fun and yep. mm -hmm. caring about each other. A bunch of guys, different personalities. Go out there and just and just going out there to win a baseball game. It matters. That's what they want to do together. And some of the right now the Astros really care about is this Latin pipeline. They've got so much talent called these Latin American countries, and it certainly has paid off. Oh, there's no question about it. And and uh, you start looking up and down the, the the actually all the way through their their system. Now you have to start off with a base. You had a Jose Altuve, you got a Brave, but when you start talking about your your rotation, there's a young man named Oz Ocampo who has brought in Urquidy. Valdez, Christian Javier, Luis Garcia. That's four of the guys that were in their rotation. When when you want to build a dynasty, you see all the whole group there, the international group of uh, Azo Campos uh, people that are working together. They've done an absolutely tremendous job of being able to bring Latin American talent, which has be, be, become a very important part of the game of baseball. Uh, and they've done a heck of a job. Um, and they've done it with some older guys. Now, a lot of these signings weren't necessarily with young pitchers. There were some older guys who have already kind of developed. They were signed like a little bit later on, 19, 20 years old. And they fit in great, and now they're, you know, one of the best rotations and one of the best staffs in all of baseball, maybe in in like the last 10 years as far as the depth is concerned. And how challenging is that? You know, it's such a, a hotly contested area in terms of scouts trying to send the best players. How challenging is it to find the best players there? Oh, it's a fight. And 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 you think about it when you're when you're trying to sign a kid that's like 16 or 17 years old. The, the projectability, it's one of the most difficult things to do. I mean, it, it's really tough to, like, to look at a kid and, and see him at 150 pounds and say, this kid's going to, you know, he's going to throw 97 miles an hour and he's going to have a lights-out split. Um, but, but, uh, but that's the art of scouting. And, and that's such an important part of, of what it is to procure players and to bring players into your system. And it's one of the reasons why the Houston Astros have so much success. That's right. And what often gets left is scouting and development. 
like Correct. you said, some of these guys have been older guys, and, and they, it's hard to find that guy who is a stud or can't miss prospect, but you start developing them, and that's what Houston has done. Credit to the scouting staff, mm -hmm. coaching and development of these young men getting to the big leagues and being yeah, game changers. They've had a no lot doubt. of growth, uh, definitely from inside the organization.